Hello everybody and welcome to your 22nd SFML platform tutorial. So, uh, we we hope we don't have any errors right now. Uh, but if we if we do, we'll figure that out, we'll figure it out later. But what we're gonna do is um, uh, we, we'll figure that out later. We're gonna just finish off the rest of the menu manager class. So, we're gonna call this menu manager update, and we need to, a render window and I believe we need the input manager and let's make the draw function right now okay so what we're gonna do is uh, what we got we gotta take in some input so we're gonna say that uh, if axis is equal to 1 then we're gonna say that if input dot key pressed uh, s of key right or input dot key press s of key d uh, then we'll say item number plus plus else if input dot key pressed s of key left or input dot key pressed s of key a then item number minus minus and for we need to have it for access equal to two so let me just copy this and instead of uh, right we'll have um, down and we'll have that uh, as S and for this we'll say up and don't forget that colon and we'll have W okay so now we have to have a range for our item number or else we're gonna get a, um, a, a error so if item number is less than zero then we reset item number to zero else if item number is greater than menu items or menu images doesn't matter because it's the same size dot size minus one then item number is equal to menu items dot size minus one okay so now we gotta execute our actual update command so we're gonna cycle through the animations and this should be familiar to you so we're gonna say that animation i j uh, dot set value and animation i j get active equals false so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna say that if animation i j no we'll say that if i is equal to item number uh, then we'll set this to true so I never really explained uh, much about how our two-dimensional animation is going to work. So the first element in animation is going to represent uh, the actual menu item. So say so we have five menu items, then we'll have five, um, uh, I guess, elements in this first dimension, right? In the second dimension, that represents a type of animation. So say we have like uh, three different animations going on, right? Uh, then it will execute the first fade animation then it will execute the zoom animation and then so on and so forth uh, so now that we uh, calculate that then we're going to say animation ij dot update simple enough and our draw is going to be really easy uh, two for loops Uh, just like the for loops above and we'll say animation i j draw 
Okay. Uh, so, uh, if everything goes well, then that that should run properly. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to title screen dot h, and we're gonna include menu manager. And in the private section, uh, we're gonna put menu. And where's our title screen dot cpp? Gotta go to that. And so in our load content, we're going to say menu dot load content and menu dot unload content. And then we got to do menu dot update. And we can get rid of this and do menu dot draw. Now, don't do anything just yet because we haven't done uh, deallocation of memory and that is a very important aspect of C++. So we're gonna make uh, our unload content. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say menu items. Uh, okay, I don't know what's menu items dot clear menu images dot clear uh, we need uh, animation no f before we clear the animations we gotta loop through them I know it's getting annoying to type the same thing over and over again but uh, you'll get used to it so we'll say delete animation ij and then after this we can say animation ij dot clear no animation dot clear sorry uh what else do we need to clear animation types uh, attributes contents and I believe that is it for now. Nope, they had no clear function for that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, we got that set up. So now let's let's see if uh, it actually loads. Now for for load content, we need to specify an ID. So ID has to be title and uh, let's execute this program now more times than none there will be an error and we're gonna have to fix this error select this uh, build okay so we got uh, some build errors so let's see what uh, see where we went wrong it says position redefinition, but I don't even. Oh yeah, CRD do have a position there. Didn't even see that before. Uh, I getting this new line constant uh, error. Uh, let me rebuild this. So it says uh, text and position are undeclared identifiers. Being is because I forgot to put animation in front of them. So let's try rebuilding this again. Okay, so it says new line in constant. Not really sure where that's coming from. It says title screen dot h new line in constant. Oh, I forgot to have um the other x the other quotation marks. Let's try this one more time. OK, 
Okay, so it's running. And therefore we there we got our menu displayed. So now if you notice what the things that if I the axis set to two, right? So if I press the down key, it goes all the way to the bottom. When I cl click up, it goes all the way to the top. But when I click S, whatever it goes by increment uh, increments up and down. And when I click double, it goes up by uh, like a certain amount. I don't know what is wrong with the, the SFML keys, but it doesn't detect them as single key presses. And if you guys know why, you can tell me in the in the comments below. But what we're gonna have to do is modify our input manager class uh, so that it can uh, accept single um, directional arrow key presses. Uh, but that is it for this tutorial. You finally got your menu up. And uh, in the following tutorial, we're going to be modifying the input manager. And then uh, in the next one, I guess we'll be talking about the align and certain stuff to align your menu to be uh, the perfect way you want it to be. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.